And here we have 6.2 rational exponents, negative exponents, and fractional bases. So we're going to apply the same thing, but we have negative exponents this time. So we have to remember what negative exponents mean. If you have something with a negative exponent, what it means is that that will now go into the denominator and be, be positive. And vice versa. If you have something that's in the denominator that has a negative exponent, it will move up to the numerator to become positive. And since it's over 1, we don't usually write that. We just say it's a whole number, right? Um, so for this one, I have 32 raised to that, which means this is the same as 1 over 32 to the power 2 fifths. And then since I have to write it without exponents, I'm going to have to convert this into the fifth root of 32 squared um, and that can't have an exponent so then this is the fifth root of let's see actually this one might benefit me to write it in the other form because I do know that I have a fifth root of 32 so it would be beneficial to use the fifth root of 32 and then the whole quantity squared and the fifth root of 32 is 2 and then when I square that I get 1 over 4. Now here you have a fraction okay and as long as this is a real number and this is a real number you can give the numerator and the denominator this exponent evenly and actually it doesn't even matter if it's a real number here if you have the exponent raised to anything you can apply the exponent to every product, every quotient, all of that. So one to any power is one, but here we're gonna have to do the fourth root of 81 and then all raised to the third power. The fourth root of 81 is three. If we raise that to the third power, we get one over 27. Now here's the same thing. You have one to the negative five fourths and 16 to the negative five fourths. So before I can evaluate the exponent, I have to deal with the negative first. So if this is negative in the numerator, it means it's going to go down to the denominator to become a positive exponent. And if this is a negative exponent in the denominator, it's going to have to move to the numerator to become positive. Now that they're both positive, I can evaluate it. So this is the fourth power of 16 raised to the fifth power doesn't matter what power you raise 1 to, it's still 1. So then we get the fourth power of 16 is 2. If I raise that to the fifth power, I get 32. And 32 over 1 is just 32. So always remember to deal with your negative first and then put it in radical form to simplify.